What is up guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we are making it so our NPC can attack our player and kill our player uh, whenever he gets close enough to us. And then it will wait until, a, until it finds another player and then it will chase and attack them. We just only have one player in our game. So that's why it just waits until that player respawns and then it will target that player again. So yeah, that is what we are doing today so let's stop playing and let's just dive into the code so we need some variables for the attack uh, the attack range the cooldown and how much damage we want the NPC to do so let's make a comment and we will say local attack range equals two local attack cooldown equals two local last attack time equals zero and local attack damage equals 100 this will kill us immediately you can set this to whatever you want and now we need a function to deal damage and or yeah just to deal damage so we'll say local function attack player and we'll pass through a player that we will be attacking and first we want to say local current time equals tick and if current time minus last attack time is greater than attack cooldown then we will say local player humanoid equals player colon find first child of type humanoid If player humanoid, then we want to deal damage to the player. So if it finds a a player's hum if it finds a humanoid on our player, then we want to deal damage to him. So we just say player humanoid colon take damage. That is a built-in function for all humanoids in Roblox and we just pass through the uh, amount of damage we want to do which is our attack damage all right we want to have a check to see if the player is dead and we will say if player humanoid dot health is less than or equal to zero then we will just return true which indicates that the player is dead. Let's also add in a print here. We will just say print player killed finding a new target. Let's also add in a print right here. Or attacking player and then let's go back down after our if statement uh, after the second end we will say last attack time equals current time skip one more end and then just say return false which means that the player is still alive all right in our follow player function at the start of it we just want to say that the player is dead uh or is not dead to be look we just want to say local player is dead equals false and here instead of while true do we want to say while not player is dead 
So while the player is not dead and player root part dot parent and player root part dot parent find first child humanoid. So basically if the player's not dead and the player has a humanoid then we proceed with this function here let's add in something we don't really necessarily need this but we just want to say if the walk animation is not playing then play the walk animation so we just want to add a check to make sure that it's not playing before we start playing the animation so if walk animation track is not playing then and then just cut this, paste it in there. And before this if statement, let's add in a local distance to player equals, we will just cut this, paste it right there. And then we will say if distance to player is less than or equal to our attack range then we will stop the walk animation we will attack the player and check if the player is dead and to do that we just say player is dead equals attack player player root part dot parent and if the player is dead then we want to stop following and return so if player is dead then return get rid of this break Get rid of this right here. We don't need to check this on. Um, actually, hang on. Yeah, we don't need it. We don't need this because we're going to add in a check right here. If character, or we're gonna put the humanoid in a variable. So we're gonna say local player humanoid equals character find first child humanoid then we will add in an if statement we'll say if player humanoid and player humanoid dot health is greater than zero then and this is just a check to see if player is alive Then we're going to cut everything below that if statement and place it inside of it. So we've got if player humanoid and player health is greater than zero and local distance equals character dot humanoid root part dot position minus uh, humanoid root part dot position dot magnitude and if distance is less than shortest distance and shortest distance equals distance and nearest player equals character that looks good so now we need to add in a function to make mpc wait for the next player this is so it doesn't just like retarget our dead body and just keep trying to follow uh, follow us when we're not even alive or, or there. So we will say local function wait for next player 
and we say local nearest player equals nil. Let's add in a print and we will say waiting for a new player. And we want to keep checking until a player is found. So while not nearest player do inside that we say nearest player equals find nearest player. And after that, we just wait 0 0.5 seconds. And then outside of that, we will do another print and we will say new player found. And we will return nearest player. Then let's check this while true do nearest player equals find nearest player. Yeah, we need to do if not nearest player, then we want to say nearest player equals wait for next player. Get rid of this wait right here. We don't need to do that anymore. We just need to start following and attacking the player. And to do that, we just say follow player and pass through the nearest player. Uh, the nearest player is humanoid root part actually. And I believe that is everything we need. So let's hit play, cross our fingers, hope it works. <coughs> so that, that worked, but we wanna make sure it retargets us after we respawn. It did there. Just make sure it does it a, a few times. So far, so good. Let's one more, one more time. Excellent. All right. So that is it for this video, guys. We've got our NPC uh, now able to attack and kill us which is what we are looking for. And yeah, thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next one.